Database Dump is a utility that you can use to back up your current database. This can be done on top of any existing backup procedures of your organization. To do a database dump utility, you go to Start, then All Programs, then Sage 3 on ERP, then Tools. Next, click on Database Dump. Enter the admin password for Sage 300 ERP, then click on OK. A pop-up appears that lists all of your current databases. Take note of the data set directory. This is where all the dump files will be saved. This location can be changed by clicking on set directory. Browse to a desired folder or simply type the drive and folder name. Click on OK. Select your desired database. In this example, we are selecting Toysys. Please note that you can only dump one database at a time. Next, click on Dump. A confirmation pop-up will appear asking any existing dump files will be deleted. Click on OK. When the dataset description pop-up box appears, this indicates that a database dump is complete. Optionally, you may enter some comments or enter a description of the database here. Then click on Done. A summary pop-up appears indicating that the operation was complete and details the number of tables processed and the number of bytes of data. Then click on OK. Now let's dump another data set. Here we are going to select ToyDat. But before, let's see what the data set directory has at the moment. These are the dump files that we saved earlier. Now let's go back and dump ToyDat. As you see, this folder has refreshed with the new files. The dump process might take longer depending on the size of the database. When the dataset description pop-up box appears, this indicates that a database dump is complete. Optionally, you may enter some comments or enter a description of the database here. A summary pop-up appears indicating that the operation was complete and details the number of tables processed and the number of bytes of data. When done, click Close. If you plan to ship or unload a copy of the dump files, it is recommended that you compress the files into a single file. The file will be much smaller in size, which can easily fit on a DVD. It also makes uploading of the file much faster to complete. To compress your dump files, press the Start button, then go to Computer. We will go to where we saved the dump files. In this case, it will be the backup folder in our C drive. Here we have an option to compress the entire backup, which you can do by just right-clicking on the backup folder, then going to Send To, then from the drop-down menu, select Compressed Zip Folder. The actual compression time will vary depending on the size of the database. It may range from seconds to hours. Notice the new file Backup has been created. This now contains both the ToySys and ToyDat dump files. The other option is to compress individual files. To do that, you double click on the Backup folder, and then you select which files you want to compress. For example, we can only compress the toy sys files. Right click on the selected folders, then click on Sent to, and from the drop down menu, click on Compressed Zip Folder. Inspect the compressed files. Now let's compress ToyDat. It's important to note that a set of dump files is composed of a folder, for example, ToyDat, and a DCT file like ToyDat.dct. These files must be stored or compressed together, otherwise the dataset will be unusable. Right-click on the selected folders, then click on Sent to, and from the drop-down menu, click on Compressed Zip Folder. Inspect the compressed files,
Database load or DB load is the utility Sage 300 ERP uses to load or restore a database. It uses the dump files created by the DB dump utility. To perform a database load, go to Start, then All Programs, then Sage 300 ERP, then Tools. Next, click on Database Load. Enter the admin password for Sage 300 ERP, then click on OK. DB load needs to know where the dump files are located. From before, we know that we have saved these files on the local C drive in the backup folder. You can click on Set Directory to select another location. Remember that these are the dump files that we have saved previously. Make sure you select the correct database to load the dump files to, then click on Next. Select the database to load, then click on Next. A pop-up appears entitled Load Data. This box asks you to either select Next to specify additional data sets to be loaded or select Finish to begin loading the data sets already selected. To begin, click Finish. A warning box will appear that states that the database is not empty and that existing data will be lost. If you're loading to an existing database, make sure you have selected the right database. This process will wipe out the existing data and a new set will be loaded. Click on OK to begin. This shows the current database being loaded. Please note that the database load process might take longer depending on the size of the dump files. Once you see this screen, this indicates that the DB load process is complete. You may load more databases by selecting Next or click Cancel to close. Here we are going to load ToyDat. So click Next, then Finish. You may load more databases by selecting Next or click Cancel to close. Here we're going to click on Cancel. And that is how you do a database dump and load.